today what you're doing is you're going to draw a snail and we've been talking about the color wheel and uh, we've been doing packets and um, you're going to draw a snail and it's pretty simple here's one that I've already drawn and I want you to think of a cinnamon roll and you're going to start with a black oil pastel and you're going to put your name on it first with a pencil I don't have a pencil with me but that's okay so start in the center and you're going to have your circle go all the way around and it's slowly getting bigger and this is a spiral line and then what you want to think about is stopping somewhere near the top now with this one I didn't have it as big and your snail can look however you want then you're going to have a curved line and it's going to come into a small head see how it looks different than this one and that's okay then it's going to come back down and around. You're going to create a nice big belly. And it's going to go straight back and you're going to have a little tail. Now when you make your background line, and I'm still using the black one, you're going to hit a bump and jump. It's going to go across. Now you can put in your antenna. And you need two of them and a circle on top so it's parallel. They're kind of curved lines. Circle on top. And then you have your smiley face and a dark line in the middle. And I want you to use all the colors, and we're using oil pastel. So now that I have my swirl on, I'm gonna go in and kind of with a curved line, so it makes it look more like a snail, you want to go all the way around. Still, we are, and they're getting bigger and bigger. We are using the black oil pastel. Make sure you have your name on there. If you want to use a smock, you can. Remember, they're at the back of the room with the hooks. We already have had the video of how to take care of paintbrush. So after this is done, then you're going to color in. Now see how I have this one started? You're going to color in. Each section is going to be a different color. Now if your oil pastel is dirty, this is very important, have a scrap piece of paper, and these are just copies so I'm going to use, I'm going to fold one of these in half. I copied in that way if I needed another one when I was doing a video that would happen. So I would put a scrap piece of paper so I wouldn't get my hands all dirty. You could also test it or clean it. Rub it on its side and then we go in and we're very delicate. And I have these awesome new trays so we're going to keep the colors separate. I think it's easier to keep them cleaner that way. And then you're going to set that down and I would love for you to do a pattern. My next color that I'm going to do I'm going to choose, I'm going to clean it first, rub it on its side. I'm going to choose this, uh, it's like a yellowish, yellowish, sorry, yellowish orange. I'm being very careful not to rub it or smear it against the black. Now, if it's helpful, of course you could set them down, we're all going to be sharing them because you get one tray per table, then I would go to the darker orange. I want you to kind of think of it as you're coloring the color wheel. So then I turn my paper, have this paper here so I don't get myself messy. And you're going to be coloring it in, all, all the whole thing's gonna be colored in. We're gonna do a pattern. After orange, I would choose, let me see, I would choose red. I don't see a red on here, so I'm gonna to go to a darker purple. We don't have a lot of choices on some of these. Um, Mrs. Milligan might have to get some colors out. But whatever you choose, make sure it's in a pattern. That's where something is repeated over and over. And then maybe I would choose green after this. So I would start with the, <coughs> sorry, clean it first. Start with the lighter green, and then I would go into the darker green. Then I would do the light blue and the dark blue. Now we're going to pretend that I have this whole thing colored in. After that, then you can paint with watercolors, remember how we share with our shoulder buddies? Or if you don't want to use watercolors and you want to color the whole thing in with um, oil pastels, I'm fine with that. And if you don't like oil pastels and you want to use crayons, you can do that too. Um, so then I would get, I have my water bowl in the middle. Make sure everything, you're, all this is going to be filled in with oil pastels. If you want to paint your snail, you could paint your snail. And remember how we take care of our paintbrush? And you'll have a paper towel here. I didn't grab a paper towel. And then you would come in and paint your background. Remember, we use the lip. We decide what we want. Maybe I'm going to have this be blue. I swirl it around, get a little bit more water. I don't know if you can see this. Swirl this around. 
and then maybe this would be the sky. But like I said, all this will be colored in and you're very gently going around that line. And the nice thing about oil pastels is they create a barrier. That means the paint will not go that far. And I'll just go back to the paint. Up, oh, get a little bit more water. And remember, when we're done with these, we want to leave the paints open because everybody's going to be using them. And I'm stopping at that background line because maybe this is my sky. And then on the bottom, so I paint this whole thing blue. And then on the bottom, this might be green, this might be purple. And real excited to see how these are going to turn out. Once again, we're, we're painting and you're going to be coloring it like the packets with the color wheels, which we've already talked about. Uh, then they will go on the drying rack and we go from the bottom up.